Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do Hux A to Z movie challenge, so stick around. So a few weeks ago, Huck over at Huck's Pop Culture Cafe started a challenge um, that he named the A to Z movie challenge to where collectors can present one movie from each letter of the alphabet um, that they would like to have in their collection if it was like the last title, the only title that they could select. Plus they could use a number title. So I've got 27 titles here and I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, these are the items that I would like to keep in the collection. If I could only have one from each letter and one from a number, these would be the ones that I would select. Now I'm not going to elaborate on all of these titles because I'm not a big talker. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. But I'm, I may um, interject some thoughts about some of these. So first up for the number, I selected 1917. I saw this one in the theater um, back when it was released. I really enjoyed the movie. I went into it blindly, not knowing anything about it. I love a good war movie. And this was a nice, different kind of um, war film from that period of time that I haven't really seen a lot of. And I just really enjoyed the performances. And so very, very um, good movie that I'd want to keep in the collection. Okay, next up was a tough decision. There's so many good films with the letter A. But I really love An American Werewolf in London. So for the A's, I wanted to keep this one. I mean, you have the werewolf transformation scene, which was top notch. Um, very, very good story, good performances. Um, very atmospheric for that um, period of time. Um, if you're not afraid of werewolves, watch this and maybe you will be. Okay, next up for the letter B, I picked Brawl in Cell Block 99. I love this film. Um, this is another one that I went into blindly to where a lot of people were recommending that I check this out. I do enjoy Vince Vaughn and the rest of the cast were great. Just enjoyed this film. Lots of action. Okay, for the letter C, I had to pick a Stallone film and I chose Cliffhanger. I've always enjoyed this film ever since I saw it in the theater back when it was released. So for the letter C, I chose Cliffhanger. Great film. I'm sure you've seen it. For the letter D, I had to go with this Bruce Willis favorite, Die Hard. I mean, you can't not have Die Hard in your collection, so my only choice for the letter D would be Die Hard. And for the letter E, no matter what, I had to get E.T. in the collection. Um, I saw E.T. in the theater back when it was released in the 80s. I loved it then. I still love it now. If I was to throw this in the um, player and watch it, it would still bring all the same emotions and nostalgia for me. So I have to keep E.T. in the collection. Okay, for the letter F, um, I am a big Tom Hanks fan, so I could not not have Forrest Gump in the collection. So I chose Forrest Gump. I enjoy the story. As you can see, look at all these Academy Awards that it won including Best Picture. I mean, Tom Hanks' performance in this was amazing. The story was very interesting from start to finish. Um, so, had to get Forrest Gump. Okay, next up for the letter G is another one that I have a lot of nostalgia for, and that is Gremlins. I saw this one in the theater back when it was released. So I have to have this one in the collection. Um, I do remember me and my wife seeing this back in the 80s. Of course, before we were married. Um, so it does bring up back a lot of great memories for me. I love Gremlins. Gizmo is cute. Okay, for the letter H, hopefully I'm not the only one. I'm sure that I'm not. But who would have to pass up Halloween? I have to have Halloween in the collection. So definitely for the letter H, it would be Halloween. So looking forward to checking this one out again here as October approaches. Okay, for the letter I, it was a tough decision. But... Just because of the way that this movie is, I selected I Am Legend with Will Smith. What I enjoy about this film is, of course, Will Smith's great performance. The atmosphere of this um, apocalyptic type um, period of time and the small cast. You know, you didn't really have a lot to focus on. So I really enjoyed this film. So I Am Legend is for my letter I. For the letter J, of course, 
I think this is probably going to be a lot of people's selection. It's Jaws. I have to have Jaws in the collection. Um, this is another one that I saw back when it was released. And I watch it pretty much every single summer. Um, so Jaws has to stay in the collection. Okay, for the letter K. K has a lot of good choices. But one that I would have to definitely keep in the collection is Kill Bill. Especially Volume 1. I just enjoyed this film. I remember the very first time I saw it. Um, I love this. I love the action scenes. I love the storyline. Um, so yeah, Kill Bill would have to stay in the collection. Okay, for the letter L, this is a film that I just recently watched for the first time um, late last year. And there's a lot of good L movies, but I think I would want to keep Let Me In in the collection. If you've never seen this film, I highly recommend it. A very good take on a vampire story. So Let Me In has to stay in the collection. Okay, for the letter M, another tough one. With so many good selections, I had to go with Moon. I really enjoyed Sam Rockwell's performance in this particular film. Um, it's a very simple film. Lots of um, good acting in this one and direction. So Moon has to stay in the collection. Okay, for the letter N, I went with Nightcrawler. Um, I saw this one in the theater. What a great performance by Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, definitely want to see this one again and again and again, so it has to stay in the collection. For the letter O is a Robin Williams um, film, One Hour Photo. If you've never seen this creepy film and Robin Williams' performance, do yourself a favor and check it out. It is excellent. For the letter P is another great film that I recently watched for the first time a couple of years ago, and I loved it, and that is Prisoners. Um, if you've never seen Prisoners, definitely check it out. I would love to see this one get a 4K release. Great story, great acting. Loved it. It's got to stay in the collection. For the letter Q, there's not very many films that begin with the letter Q, um, but I was able to find one that I would definitely hate to part with, so this would have to stay in the collection, and that is The Quick and the Dead. This right here was such a fun, uh, fun watch for me. I enjoy westerns, and this right here is a good western type film. Lots of, com uh, lots of comedy in it. Definitely check this out if you've never seen it, but it's got to stay in the collection. Okay, for the letter R, it was a no-brainer. No matter what, The Revenant has to stay in the collection. I really love this film. I love the cinematography. I love the story, the acting. Everything about this film is perfect. So definitely The Revenant would have to stay in the collection. Okay, one of my favorite films of all times, maybe one of my top five films, maybe my number one top film, would be Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back for the letter S. So The Empire Strikes Back, I do remember seeing this one when it was released in the theater. I saw all the Star Wars films when they were released in the theater. This right here was my, this is my favorite Star Wars film, so it has to stay in the collection. For the letter T, we have to go with Terminator 2, Judgment Day. I love this film. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is probably my favorite Schwarzenegger film of all time. So it definitely has to stay in the collection. For the letter U, I did go through all of my... So I, I went through all of my titles, at least the majority of my titles that I could get to. And for the letter U, I selected Upgrade. Um, this right here is a really good, I don't know, sci-fi type horror film. If you've never seen Upgrade, check it out. It's excellent. I would definitely want this one to stay in the collection. I can't really think of many other U films that I would want in the collection. So I, I chose Upgrade. Okay, for the letter V, we have a lot of... We don't have very many options for the letter V. V for Vendetta. Um, anyway, there's a lot of V. There are some V movies, but Vertigo is a film. I love Alfred Hitchcock. Vertigo has to stay in the collection. I enjoy this James Stewart performance. I enjoy the story, the suspense, so Vertigo has to stay in the collection. Okay, for the letter W, it's a film from my childhood that I have not watched in a very long time, but I used to watch it every single year because it only came on TV once a year. And that is The Wizard of Oz. So I definitely want to keep The Wizard of Oz in the collection. And I need to check this one out again. It's been a long time. For the letter X, um, there are there's a few titles with the letter X, but 
Of course, X-Men comes to mind. And out of all the X-Men films, I really think I enjoy Days of Future Past the best. I don't know that there's a lot of people that actually enjoy this film. I just loved the old cast and the new cast blending together. I just enjoy the story. So definitely want to keep X-Men Days of Future Past in the collection. Okay, for the letter Y, this is another tough one. But I did see this one in the theater when it was released. Um, I was just driving around trying to think of something to do. So I went to the theater, didn't know what I was going to see. And this right here was playing, so I decided to go see this. I had no idea what this was about. I'm not a very big Beatles fan, but I really did enjoy this movie. Um, if you've never seen Yesterday, definitely check it out. I would definitely want to keep this Y movie in the collection. Okay, for the letter Z, not very many options for the letter Z, um, but I did have a few. And out of the few that I had, Zombieland would be one that I want to keep. I enjoy zombie films. I enjoy Woody Harrelson. I thought this right here was a very fun movie to watch. I could watch it over and over again. So Zombieland would be my number, my letter Z to keep in the collection. So those are my titles that I would want to keep from A to Z in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the particular titles that I selected. And maybe give me some of your suggestions of what you would have selected for some of these and what you think about what I picked. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. If you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have my links below. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.